Hello, and welcome to Reaching Dream Fulfillment. In this video, I will talk about something that's got me very angry and very upset, and is unfair and ridiculous, and something I wasn't even aware of. It seems like a weird dream, and every time I think it's gone, it's not, and it keeps on getting worse. And now it's time to fight. And fight I will. Not with my fists or anything like that, but with my mind and resources. Here's my story. A little after my birthday, I went to go visit my aunt in Irvine to celebrate my birthday. And now I may have over a year or more of nonsense to face. And it's got me very upset and it's been very distractive from my goals. When I think of it, I just get really angry. But right now, I'm getting back on my goals. Instead of being angry, I feel real numb from it. Here it is. So anyways, I go visit my aunt in Irvine to celebrate my birthday. She's taking me out to go see a, hear a live band and all that good stuff. It's a place called Campus Jackson, Irvine. Very cool place. Anyways, I go pretty quickly because we're going to, we have to be there by a certain time. And I'm very close to this relative. In fact, I'm more close to her than any other relative. Anyways, I park my car. I see it's a little away from the curb. I readjust it, leave. Now I, my evening out, I have a really good time, and then I get a phone call. And it's from the police saying that it could, or a part that could be damaged to a car, and I'm like, what? So anyways, we're almost home, we arrive there, so I go to move my car. I notice that is just about on top of this other car. So I was like, whoa, I couldn't believe that I parked that close to the other car. I drive it away, find out there's no damage to the car. So this should be the end of the story. There's no ticket. Somebody called, um, they could have just moved their car and saw, oh, there's no damage. And I called the police, but they need to make a, a little incident out of this because it gets them a little rush and all that kind of crap. Some people are like that. They want to cause some crap. <laughs> Almost cursed, but I keep my YouTube channel clean. Not everyone does. That's my choice. Anyways, the part that I didn't tell you is when I move my car, the officer is like watching and hanging over. She is like watching and all this. I get out of the car. My mind is, I want to get out of the car, see if there's... I hope there's not damage. So that's in my head. I want to get there quickly. And, and uh, I don't think there's any damage because I would have felt hitting another car. <laughs> that's pretty freaking obvious. Well, anyways, as I'm going, I go quickly and I touch the curb a little bit. She tells me, I don't like the way you're driving. Tells me the park again. I guess I touch the curb slightly again or a little close. I don't like the way you're driving. And she does this like two or three times. Then she, she says, you need to take a driving test and all this. I'm like, whatever. And then uh, she gives me back my temporary license, with temporary because my birthday was coming up and I had to renew it. Well, time goes by and I go, I try to get it out of my head thinking, hey, maybe this will go nowhere. Then I get this thing saying I get to, have to get this mental slash physical evaluation. Well, they didn't take mental tests on me, but nevertheless, I take this, I have to take this thing with a doctor. I have diabetes and they have a whole section on that. So you're going, gee, now they're going to try to use that against you. Well, mine never goes low. So I never feel like I'm going to pass out or any of that kind of crap. Unfortunately, it's high. And unfortunately, life has good timing that it was always Staying good, I wasn't needing more medication. Now it went up some. So now it's went up some. 
So now they're going to try to use that against me. So now I can be punished for going too close to a curb. Or, I mean, blood sugar a little high. I have another appointment, you know, you readjust the medication. And now, with the good luck of, of everything, of how this is going, unfortunately, when they increase that medication, it's not really going down as much as I would like. You put in the evaluation fair, it, the, the, it was under good control and now it's fair, it's high, but it's not, oh my God, but now they're gonna try to use this against me. Plus I do something stupid when the cop keeps on saying, I like the way you're driving, I like the way you're driving, just keep on harassing and harassing and harassing, making me park over and over and over and over again. You'd think I went over the damn curb or into somebody's grass or some stupid thing like that. But no. So unfortunately, I kind of had a spatial problem when I was growing up. I was in special ed. And no, I don't hit curbs and crap like this. When I get harassed, then that problem gets exasperated, which is minor. But then when somebody's harassing, it went full blown. And now I am being punished for <laughs> something I can't help too. And I have a good record and I'm not crashing into every damn car and all this other crap. So now I have to get a lawyer and this is going to cost me a lot of money because I parked too close to a car and I hit a curb. Maybe, maybe I'll go to jail because I hit a curb. Slightly. Curbs are very sacred. They are. They're very sacred. But anyways. I've done something very horrible. I touched a curb. And now I must pay for it. <laughs> so now I have to take a written test, maybe a driving test. And then there are all these things about partial license, suspended license, and all this insanity. So now I have to get a lawyer, waste money on this, waste time on this, because I touched a curb. Why did I touch a curb? It's a crime. It is a big crime to touch a curb. Shame on me. Anyways, I will tell you how this nonsense goes. And a commentary when I get through this stupid ending. Thank you.